called Boo My Food. It's a crack party! While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go! Jumpers. Okay, everything's checked out. Ready, Martin? Ready, Chris? All systems go. All right, one, one two, two, three, jump! Shoot something! Not mock parachuting. I hope we can land at Animal Junction. We're right on target, Chris. Oh, yeah? Look out below! <laughs> Bullseye! We jumped right into Animal Junction! It's a good thing we didn't land on you! <laughs> Let's call Zabu! Okay, one, two, three! Well, let's call Zabu like ghosts! Zabu! Zabu! Zabu? I bet Zabu knew it was us. He's a smart lemur. How you doing, buddy? Zabu found a spring hair. <laughs> Look at them go. Whoa, Zabu's jumping around just like the spring hair. Yeah, but Zabu likes jumping in the trees, and the spring hair likes jumping on the ground. Leaping lemurs and springing spring hairs. Sabu has a jumping buddy. Sabu loves leaping and jumping. He also loves his snack. I'll go get one. Let's see what we have for Sabu today. Hey, Sabu, look what I have. He's gonna love these. Sabu, I found some garbanzo beans. Sabu loves garbanzo beans. Bring here snacking too. Give me some of the food! <laughs> Hi there. I've been jumping with Spring here. Manga Zika. Yeah. Jumping and leaping at the same time. <laughs> Bye, Spring here. Hey, I saw a creature who was jumping when I was coming here. He jumped a lot. A lot! A jumping creature? Mm -hmm. Great! How much did he jump? A lot, Chris, a lot! Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal <laughs> who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? He had super long ears and huge feet, too! His feet were about as long as I am! He had long ears and a tail! <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see he could really jump, and I know a good jumper when I see one. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A long-eared, big-tailed jumper. Do you know who he is? Big bouncy feet. Big long tail. Do you know who it is? <laughs> I think it might be a kangaroo. That's right. So where is the kangaroo? Maybe he's behind us. Hmm? Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. A kangaroo! <laughs> Mangasika, the mystery animal's here! <laughs> hey, kangaroo, how do you do? 
Wow, he's incredible. And he's so tall. I bet he's as tall as my tallest jump. Red kangaroos are the largest kangaroos in the entire kangaroo family. And male red kangaroos are so big, they're sometimes called big reds. What about female red kangaroos? Well, they're not even red, Sob. They're usually bluish gray. A female red kangaroo is called a blue flyer because they jump around so fast, it's like they're flying. Oh, I get it. And his fur really is red. Now I know why he's called a big... Whoa! Oh, oh I'm cold! Oh. Oh, I'm okay. Yo, shelf quick! Whee! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Martin. What do you think of that, Big Red? <laughs> red Martin, Red Martin, he's big and red like a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this. I can't believe how huge a kangaroo's feet are. If we had feet like that, they'd be this big. A kangaroo uses his feet to jump. But they sure aren't easy to walk in. Whoa! Hey, I think there's a frog on my head. It's a marine toad. Wow, what pretty eyelashes you have. Kangaroos have long eyelashes to keep the sand and dust out of their eyes. That's because red kangaroos live on dry, sandy grasslands and in deserts in Australia. And it gets pretty dusty there, so that's why they have those eyelashes. Guys, check this out. What a tail. Yeah, a kangaroo tail is full of muscle. His tail is so strong, he uses it to stand on when he's fighting another kangaroo. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, male kangaroos fight for female kangaroos. Wow. But the main thing about a kangaroo's tail is that it's used like an extra leg. A kangaroo rests on her tail every time she puts her back legs forward. Mangatsika, he does. I see it. And a kangaroo tail is as long as I am. Yeah. And I bet a kangaroo could jump as far as ten zabus. I bet you're right. In fact, they can jump over 20 feet in a single bound. That's like jumping over ten zabus. <laughs> huh? Hey, wait a minute. Hey. Hey, guys, when I saw him in the forest, he was jumping a lot. He was really jumping. But he's not jumping now. Yeah, he hasn't jumped the whole time he's been here. How come? I bet I can figure this out. I know I can. Hmm. Think, think, think. Now, why would a kangaroo not be jumping? I know I can figure this out. I know I can. Hmm. Think, 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 think. Why the kangaroo isn't jumping? Big Red is too tired to jump. He must be on a long, long trip. See, kangaroos go on long journeys to find food and water, and they've been known to travel over 300 miles to find it. Huh, that's a lot of jumping. I'm tired to think about it. <laughs> now I can really understand why the kangaroo needed a rest. One time, I needed a rest in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I started to get tired, oh, I needed a rest. Then Slimanta slid over. And wanted to play. <laughs> Let's play, Shabu. Let's play Squirrel out of the Hog. Yeah. <laughs> and after I played with Slimantha, baby Zabumafuasaurus wanted me to chase him, grab onto his tail. Hey, come on, Zabu, catch me! Yeah, catch me! Aha! Uh, uh, I got you! Uh, uh, 
I'll see if you can hang uh, on. Uh, round, uh, and round, and round, I and think round. I can hang uh, on. Uh, Oof. Then I flew off and landed in a Goobleberry goo puddle. Green Puppy was there, and she wanted to play, too. Oh, hi, Green Puppy. <laughs> Babu, let's have a Goobleberry Goose blast fight. Okay. So I splashed her. And she splashed me back. <laughs> but all this playing made me really, really tired. Oh, tired like Big Red. So I sat down. And fell asleep. Babu, wake up. That was the end. So, guys, we have to help Big Red get his energy back. So he can get back on his trip. Great idea, Zob. Maybe he's hungry. What do you think? Oh. Hungry and thirsty. You can say that again. Hungry and thirsty. <laughs> I'll feed him. I'll feed him. <laughs> now, which one is it? Huh? Is it this one? No. That's frog. <laughs> How about this one? No, that's ringtail cat. <laughs> How about these two? Uh, well, that's Chris and Martin. <laughs> ah, uh huh, uh huh. I think so too. Kangaroo! <laughs> Wait, how come nothing's happening? Hello? Where's the grass? Where's the grass? Hello? Hello? Trees, Martin, the snack machine's broken again. Hello? 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 <laughs> <sighs> come and get it. It's fixed. <sighs> Let's all have a snack. I'll push the buttons. Spaghetti. Pizza! <laughs> oh, is that Goobleberry pizza? <laughs> Chris, what's that weird stick you're holding? <laughs> it's not a stick, Sob. It's a fork. What's a fork? You eat with it. Hmm? Can I try? Sure. Here. I'm gonna try eating with this thing. Hmm. Fork. Hmm. Fork. What a funny stick. After my snack, I like to finish with an apple. So does the kangaroo. That'll give you energy. The kangaroo needs to get his strength back. So, with a little food, a little rest, he'll be able to get back on his trip. Uh, Chris, Martin, look! Big Red's licking a rock. Why is he doing that? These rocks have salts and minerals on them that'll help give our kangaroo energy for his trip and it'll keep those muscles firing. A kangaroo gets minerals from rocks, and human kids get them from vitamin pills your parents give you. Eat your vitamins, Big Red. They'll make you strong. And now Big Red's drinking. That'll help get his energy back, too. Yep, I was right. He is hungry and thirsty. Really thirsty. What is good for you? I love it. I think this will work. Whoa. Manga Zika. Oh, yeah, it's Big Red. Oh, he's got his strength back. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Big Red is back. Big Red is back. No. Big Red has his energy back. He can keep going on his long, long trip. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> he's jumping. He's jumping. Let's jump with him. Come on. Come on, everybody. Let's jump like kangaroos. Keep your feet together. You can do it! I feel kangarooish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel kangarooish. How about you, kangarooish? Feeling kangarooish. Kanga, kanga, kangarooish. I'm a giant red jumper. I'm a kangaroo. Kangarooish! No wonder he was tired. I'm pooped. Hey guys, he's ready to go. He's ready to continue his long journey. See you, Big Red. Let's jump again soon. Happy jumping! Happy jumping!
Hey guys, a baby kangaroo. Look, the kangaroos forgot their baby. That's not a baby kangaroo. This is a wallaby. I want to be a wallaby. I want to be a wallaby. What's a wallaby? Wallabies are creatures who are in the same family as kangaroos. They live in Australia, same as kangaroos, and they eat the same thing. But wallabies are smaller than kangaroos. See, that's a wallaby in the back and a kangaroo in the front. Oh, now I get it. Now this wallaby's still a baby, but she's gonna grow up to be a lot bigger. How tall do you think she'll get, Martin? Well, let's see. How tall are you when you stand up? Yeah, she's about that tall. When she's full grown, she'll be about that tall. And that's taller than you are, Zob. And one day you might even see her with a baby in her pouch. Baby wallabies grow up in their mother's pouches just like baby kangaroos do. A pouch is like a pocket. Well, can she stay in there forever? Well, a baby kangaroo can stay in there for a really long time. But after a while, he gets pretty big and starts exploring more and more. He starts to play with other baby kangaroos. Oh, well, yeah, just like I play with other baby lemurs. That's right, Zob. But you know what? A baby kangaroo always goes back to mom's pouch until he's about eight months old and ready to be on his own. Hey, look at this. The wallaby found a pouch. Time for a nap. And here comes a great flyer. Incoming falcon, duck! Woo, that was a close one. Whoa. Sticky feet, the peregrine falcon's here with a message from Jackie. I'm weeding my garden. I started it last spring. But do you think I did it because I love carrots? I don't think so. I did it for my friends who love vegetables more than anyone. This garden isn't for me. It's for Hip and Hop, my two pet rabbits. Wild rabbits can visit Hip and Hop's garden too. I think it's really great that I can make a garden just for rabbits. Rabbits love their vegetables. And a vegetable garden's easy. See you later. Jackie's great. Munga Zika, look at Sticky Feet. He's jumping. Can you believe that? Wow. I've got an idea. Chris, Martin, uh, you guys should check out more jumpers, huh? To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Wow. Neat, eh? Fine. Uh -oh. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Hey, and let's be careful out there. Okay, Zob. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. Come on, let's do some jumping. Me first. <laughs> Hey, you're pretty good. This way, Martin. Right behind you, Chris. We're heading out to find some amazing jumpers. Chris, overhead, a hawk. Cool. Oh, no. Jump! Yikes! <laughs> well, we can't jump over the pond with our bikes. I know. But this pond is hopping with great jumpers. Come on. Frogs. Frogs are incredible jumpers. Jumping is a great way for a frog to escape danger. If a predator, on the predator, tries to catch a frog, he jumps. Oh. In the water. But he's got to be careful, because if he jumps too far from shore, a fish, I'm the fish, will try to eat him. Back to shore! Oh. That way, a big fish can't get him, and he's fooled any predator on shore. It can be tough being a frog, so be nice to them. When you pick up a frog, Hold him down here. Don't hold him up here. 
hold him down here so that when he jumps off, he doesn't have far to fall. You know, frogs might be the best jumpers in the whole pond. Come on, bro, let's jump like frogs. Woohoo! Whoa! Did you see that trout jump? He leapt right out of the water to catch that mayfly. Sometimes trout jump for their food. The mayfly comes down to the water, and bang, the trout goes for it. Trout might be the best jumpers in the whole pond. I don't know, Chris. Trout can jump high. Frogs can jump far. So let's jump like trout, then like frogs, and we'll see who's the better jumper. All right. Come on, jumping creatures. Woo! Jump like a fish. Ah! <laughs> Jump like a frog! Ribbit! Ribbit! Frogs and trout are, are both great, great jumpers. jumpers. Frogs jump far to get away from predators. And trout jump high to grab insects. And crap brothers jump on their bikes <laughs> to get back to Animal Junction. All right, let's go! Hey, Mark, Zabu would want to meet those jumpers. Yeah, and I wonder what that leaping lemur is up to now. Hey, hey, Somebody's in there with Sabu. Hey, can you catch this? Do you want to find wow. out who? You're a great Come on. Hey, ready? Here we go. I don't believe Whoa, it. Whoa, hey, guys, check this out. Hey, Jumpy, grab this. Whoa, that's a quick-turning jumper. Yeah, she can jump up from when she's practically lying down. It's a caracal. Yeah, yeah, caracal. <laughs> she's my new pal. I call her Jumpy. <laughs> That's a great name, Zob, because a caracal can jump so high, she can catch a bird right out of the sky. Yeah, she's one of the best jumpers in the cat family. Just like I'm the best jumper in the lemur family. And it's just like I am best jumper in the crab family. I'm the best jumper. I am. No. I'm the best. I am. No, I am. I am. No, I am. I am. No, uh -oh. I am. Guess I am. what's gonna happen no, next? I am. I am. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that, Jumpy? <laughs> Those Krat brothers had the greatest landings. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sob. No, oh, they need to learn jumping from Jumpy. No. Oh. Hey, Chris, bring in that toy. She wants to play. Here you go, Jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> you are seeing all the great moves of a caracal. With those quick hands, a caracal can catch anything. <laughs> a caracal is a much better jumper than either of us. But guys, she doesn't catch wallabies. So, Sabu. What does a caracal do with a wallaby? They play. Only an animal jumps. Yeah, nobody catches anything here in Animal Junction. Except maybe a cold. Wow, what a sneeze. That reminds me of the time we were jumping together in Zabu land. I was leap leaping along, leap, leap. And I was having so much fun that I wanted everybody to jump around with me. Hello, Google, I said. Hello, Noggin Drill. Oh, <laughs> Hello, Zabu. Hello, Zabu. Let's jump around. Oh, jumping. Oh, I'm a great jumper. I can catch a lot of air. Watch, watch. Oh, 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 oh. oh and I love jumping too. Watch this. Noggin Drill jumped up, but he didn't come back down. Hey, get me down. My lid's stuck in this tree. I'm coming, Noggy. Oh, oh, thanks, Zabumafuasaurus. No problem. Well, why don't you hop on and we'll jump around together? And that's what we did. I feel so. Did you like my hang time? <laughs> the end. Hey, look! The caracal and the wallaby are jumping off together. Bye, jumpers. You know what I really liked about today? Every creature has their own way of jumping. 
My favorite part was when we jumped like a caracal, up and down, twists and turns. I like when we were jumping like the kangaroo. Remember, keep both feet together. My favorite part was when we jumped into the water like frogs. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his behind. and behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you Do you know who we forgot to jump like? Who? Zabu! Bleeping lemurs! Let's get jumping! Yeah! Thanks, Martin! Happy jumping! Happy jumping! Hi, I'm Taylor and this is my dog, Farley. Zebra, six o'clock. Hey, they look as small as ants. <laughs> Striped ants. <laughs> and there's Animal Junction. Okay, and these crosswinds should put us right on target. <laughs> Another perfect landing right in Animal Junction. You okay, Martin? Yeah, except that I landed in a ant hill. Don't roll over me. Ants are little creatures with a big bite. Woohoo! Sorry, guys, didn't mean to sit on your home. An anthill is like a fortress, bustling with thousands of soldiers protecting it. When they bite you, it makes you leap like you know who. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! There he is! Come on in! Hey, Zabu! <laughs> it looks like Zabu's got ants in his pants, too. Hey, Sabu. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Want a scratch? Yeah. It's great up here, isn't it? You should see what's down here. Look at these little guys. A bunch of ants and termites built homes here. It's like a whole other world in these mounds. It's amazing. Have you ever watched ants before, Sabu? Sabu? Well, you know Sabu. No chat until he's had a snack. Zabu, I've got an apple for you. There you go, buddy. Have a piece. Wait, not the whole apple. Here, I got a piece for you. This one. <laughs> there you go, buddy. That's the one. Excuse me. Sip of the food! <laughs> Hi there. Hello, ants. Wow, you guys are sure fun to watch. Look at those little ants go. <laughs> Somebody bit me while I was watching those ants. Zabu, it was the ants. <laughs> and these little creatures pack a powerful bite. Look at those oh. chompers. Manga Sika, that's a big mouth for a little creature. I'm gonna call you Jaws. Hey, that makes my mind remember. On my way here, I saw another creature, a big creature with a little mouth. Who could it be? Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, he had two big eyes and a long face. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. His mouth was pretty small, but he had a really bushy tail. Tailed, small mouth creature. Do you know who he is? All right, let's see. He had a long face, small mouth, bushy tail, big claws, <gasps> a giant anteater. Wow, he's amazing. And he has a face that's gianter than giant. Long <laughs> anteater, the mystery animal is here. 
Come on over here. <laughs> hey, he's slurping. He's slurping my face. <laughs> hey, that tickles. <laughs> hey, Slurpy. That's what I'm going to call you, Slurpy. No, no, those are my feet. <laughs> Great name, Zabu. Slurpy the anteater. Check out that tongue. It's pretty long, right? But that's just the tip of it, because an anteater's tongue can get up to two feet long. The whole thing's longer than a shoelace or a water monitor's tongue. But guys, why is he called an anteater? Well, he doesn't really eat defenseless little ants, does he? Yeah, he really huh? does, Zabu. He really is an anteater. In fact, anteaters were built for eating ants. Just take a look at that long nose and listen to it sniff. Giant anteaters have a great sense of smell. That's how they find ants. Like this Tamandua, who is an anteater too. He sniffs along tree branches, searching for ants or termites. He finds them by smelling them. Wow, he can smell ants? I didn't even know ants were smelly. Yeah, and once he finds them, he uses his long, hard claws to get to them. He scratches away bark or dirt, and that is how he finds his food. His claws are so important for finding his food that he has to keep them sharp at all times. That is why an anteater walks on his knuckles, like this. Give it a try. An anteater has what it takes to hunt, catch, and eat ants. <laughs> but ants are great. Well, ants and anteaters should be friends. I'm gonna do something about this. I'm gonna make them best friends. Well, Slurpee, I was thinking, hey, well, what are you smelling? No, no, not the ants. No, no, wait, stop. Slurpee's gonna eat Jaws and all the other ants. I gotta stop him. Slurpee, wait, stop. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Slurpee, where are you going, huh? Oh, you're hungry? Well, here, the snack's right over here. Come on, do the snack machine. Uh-huh, can't eat it. Let's see, uh, oh, nothing coming. Hello? Oh, nothing there. Oh, well. Oof. <laughs> I meant to do that, yeah. An avocado. Oh, well, try it, Slurpster. You'll like it. Uh-huh. Slurpee likes fruit. Actually, giant anteaters do eat some fruit, but it has to be pretty mushy like an avocado because giant anteaters don't have any teeth. No teeth? That's right, no teeth. And creatures with no teeth, like a human baby, have to eat really soft food. Whoa, but he has a very flicky tongue. Oh, I'm almost getting dizzy. Oh. It's amazing. It's like a worm. Yeah. I told you he'd be a good fruit eater. You're right, Zav. When an anteater eats fruit, he doesn't eat a lot because an anteater mostly eats ants. How many ants does an anteater eat? An anteater eats 30,000 ants in a single day. That's a lot of ants. So fruits are pretty good, huh, Slurpee? Slurpee? Slurpee. He's looking for something else to eat. Huh? Oh, wait, not the ants. I gotta stop him. I'll try to get his attention. Hey, Slurpee, let's run around Animal Junction. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Gallop like an anteater. Try galloping on your knuckles. <laughs> it's not that easy, but it's easy for Slurpee. Come on, buddy. All right, over here. Whoop, through the legs. <laughs> Let's tickle Slurpee. Zabu, I've got him. I've got him in the tickle hold. Tickle hold? <laughs> Good work, Chris. Slurpee's not thinking about eating ants. He's thinking about being tickled. <laughs> he loves it. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Zaz, all you other ants, you're safe now. <laughs> he really wants to wrestle. <laughs> Wrestling with an anteater. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Uh-oh. Well, where's he going? Hey, no, wait, stop! Not again. I know, my mind has an idea, but I better move fast. Oh, hey, Slurp, sir. Wanna see me do one of these crazy people things? Huh? Yeah, come on over here. Now, this is the back of the bike, and uh, I get on over here. <laughs> and then uh, you you sit on it like this, and then uh, I think you just pedal. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, this is easy. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Uh oh, whoa! <laughs> I, uh, 
uh, meant to do that. And besides, I kept Slurpee's mind from thinking about ants. <laughs> You're right, Zob. Jaws and the other ants are still safe. Well, that's good, but I'm stuck. Slurpee, I need help. Oh, hi, uh, Slurpee. Uh, can you can you get me out? Uh, that's a nice foot. <laughs> no, 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 don't tickle my feet. <laughs> oh, stop! I give, I give, oh, I, I give, Slurpee, all the mangoes you can eat. I'll give you. <laughs> Slurpy tickling me reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping <laughs> along. Leap, 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 leap. And I landed next to Snow Lemur playing in the sand. Hello, Snow Lemur, I said. Uh, oh, uh, hi, Sabu. Uh, you know, when I come down to uh, Sabu Land, I like playing in the sand. Yeah. Oh, I like the sand too. It tickles my fingers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it feels good in my hands, yeah. It, it tickles my sides, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it tickles my sides, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, tickle, yeah, oh, yeah, tickle. <laughs> Wait a minute, huh? sand can't tickle our sides. You're right, Zabu. It's not sand, it's me, Fibby. So Snow Lemur, Fibby, and I spent the rest of the morning together playing in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> Great story, Zabu. Well, thanks. But you know, Slurpee really wants to get at those ants. I mean, anteaters eat ants. That's just life in the creature world. And don't forget, ants have ways of protecting themselves. Remember those chompers? Oh, yeah. When an anteater attacks an anthill, the ants bite so much that the anteater can only spend about a minute eating before he has to get out of there. And there are a lot more ants than anteaters, usually about a million ants to one anteater. See these driver ants? The workers are heading out in search of food. But see the line of ants on each side with the extra big jaws? Those are soldiers, and they protect the workers from danger. And then there's the acacia ants. The thorns of the acacia tree make sugary food for the ants in exchange for protection. These tough ants protect the tree against grasshoppers and other predators. Wow, ants are pretty tough. I've got it. I need to talk to the ants. Well, maybe I can convince them to be friends with the anteaters. Brothers! Yes, uh. I need to do this face to face. Build me a shrinking machine so I can be as small as an ant. A shrinking machine? Yeah. Like this one? Huh? Come on in, the shrinking machine! Huh? Munga, Zika, I'm ready to go. <laughs> to the ants. Chris, you know, one of us should really go with them. You're right. Good luck. I'll stay here with Slurpee. Zob, it looks like I'm coming with you. Well, thanks, Martin. That's big of you. Get it? Big? <laughs> all right, Zob, are you all set? All set. Ready to go. Set to ant size. All systems go. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! I'm shrinking! Me too! I'm getting smaller! Whoa! We're ant sized! It worked! Look who's coming! Uh oh! To oh, the no. anthill! Run, Martin! I'll distract him! So, Slurp! All right! Are you ready, Zabu? Yep, I'm ready! Okay, one, two, two three, three! Leap! Woo All right! Yeah! Tuck your head! Yeah, it's tight in here! Okay! Okay! <sighs> Hey, it's Jaws! How do you know that's Jaws? Well, I'd know that face anywhere. Hey, Jaws! I need to talk to all the ants. Could you take us to them? Whoa, hey, wait for us! us. How are you guys doing down there? You know, an anteater has a really sticky tongue. That's how he comes up with a mouthful of ants. So watch out for that tongue! Yeah. Here we are, Zabu, the nesting chamber. This is where the ants take care of their eggs and babies. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. This is my big chance. I'm gonna talk to them. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye. Hello, ants. You know this little war you've been having with the anteaters? Well, uh, I think you guys should be buddies. Hello? Hello? Anybody hear me? Zab, with ants are busy. They're doing what ants do. In an ant colony, there's strength in numbers, so more ants are being made all the time. Ants started as eggs, and then they become larvae. See those white worm-like things? Those are the larvae, and the workers feed them and take care of them. Everybody's just doing what ants do. Doing what ants do. 
And I guess anteaters do what anteaters do. Exactly, Zabu. And anteaters eat ants. Yeah. And a lemur is made to be lemur-sized. Back, Back to, to the, the machine. machine. Whoa! That was great! <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, buddy. The itch is right there. Yeah, right there. Thanks. Hey, they're back. Time to hit the big time. Whoa! <laughs> How'd it go, guys? Well, I decided that ants are ants and anteaters are anteaters. And anteaters need to eat ants to survive. But ants have pretty good ways of protecting themselves. So, it all kind of works out in the end, right? Mm-hmm. And all kinds of eaters are good eaters. Hey, you know what? What? I'm feeling anteaterish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel anteaterish. How about you, anteaterish? I feel anteaterish. Anteaterish! I'm a long faced slurper with a super long tongue. Anteaterish! I'm going back for more. I love this machine. Being small is Manga Tsika! <laughs> now I'm feeling antish again. Doc! Doc! Incoming! Hi, Moonface. <laughs> it's not a duck, it's a giant Moonface, the barn owl. Well, giant to a mini Zabu. Whoa, I've never seen your talons so close before. They're like giant teeth to a little creature. <laughs> And Moonface brought a message from the Animal Helpers. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. My friends live on a farm and have three pet goats. Goats are great pets. They love it when you pass them. That tickles. My friends don't even have to mow the lawn anymore because the goats keep the grass nice and short. See what I mean? Goats will eat everything, even the flowers in your garden. They're great eaters, all right. All right! There are all kinds of incredible eaters in the world. Yeah, and I like being ant-sized, but I'm ready to be lemur-sized again. Flick on the machine, brothers. Okay, here goes. Oh! Something's wrong, it's not working. It's out of the special ingredient. Uh-oh. Don't worry, we'll get some. Sounds like a trip to Mini Zabu. To, to the, the closet. closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet uh -oh. to grab their You know what always happens when we open the closet. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they, they don't, don't know, know what's in store. They're coming from the closet. A container for the secret ingredient. Go along, Chris. <laughs> See you later, Zabu. Hi, brothers. We're here in Africa, searching for the special ingredient for the shrinking machine, aardwolf spit. And how do you find aardwolf spit? Well, you could get it directly from an aardwolf, except that's not easy. Or you could also find it on a termite mound. You see, aardwolves are a special type of hyena that eat termites, so it's only natural that they'd leave a little bit of spit on a termite mound. Let's find a termite mound, come on. Too bad we don't need elephant spit, they're everywhere. All right, our first termite mound. Any hard wolf spit, Martin? I don't know, but there are termites. Hey, talk about saliva. Termites build these mounds by mixing their spit with dirt. The mound bakes in the sun and becomes as hard as concrete. Yeah, lots of termites. But what about the hard wolf spit? Let me see. We'll take a sample with our hard wolf spit test kit. Just scrape off a little dust here, and this machine will detect if there is any spit left by an hard wolf lapping up termites. Nothing. No aardwolves have been here, but birds definitely have. Look, bird poop. Birds sometimes use termite mounds as perches and lookout points. Baboons like to laze around on a termite mound, too. In fact, they play king of the termite mound. Let's keep looking for aardwolf spit. Saba's waiting. All right, termite mound number two. Except, I don't think we're going to find any fresh aardwolf spit here. That's because this is an old termite mound. And with no termites living here anymore, why would an aardwolf come by? He wouldn't. But there's another creature who loves old termite mounds. Mo! 
mongoose. Oh yeah, if you're a mongoose and need protection from the hot African sun and predators like a jackal, a termite mound is a great place to go. A mongoose is small enough to get into all of the tunnels and the mound is so hard, it's almost impossible for any predator to break into. Another termite mound. Test result. Ooh, negative. We're not having much luck. Yeah, and it's getting hot out of here. Yeah. Hey, let's use the termite mound like a jackal. Yeah. For shade. She has her shady spot, and we have ours. I'm feeling cooler. Yeah, me too. So, let's keep searching for Ardwolf Spit. All right. There must be an Ardwolf around here somewhere. We hit Ardwolf Spit! <laughs> and there's the Ardwolf! What an amazing creature. An Ardwolf only eats a few termite species and she only hunts them at night. She uses her long sticky tongue to lick up the termites. She can eat 200,000 termites in one night. All right, well we've got the secret ingredient for the shrinking machine. Let's get back to Animal Junction with this Ardwolf Spit. <laughs> Giraffe Spit. We, we don't, don't need, need any of that. <laughs> Not today, at least. <laughs> hey, Chris, look. It's Animal Junction. We did it, Saba. We found the secret ingredient. Whoa. Do you see what I see? Giant Chihuahua. Mini anteater. Brothers. The machine's really going crazy now. It's shrinking and enlarging everybody. Incredible. Have you ever seen a mini elephant? Or a giant chimpanzee? The whole world of nature's out of whack. Sabu, good thing we got back when we did. You can say that again. Hope this arm will spit works. <laughs> well, hi, Brainiac. Well, yeah, I'm ready, too. OK. We're ready to get back to normal. Let's do it. All we have to do is put the secret ingredient inside the machine, and it's ready to go. Got it? All right. Turn it on. Okay, everybody, in the machine. Toothbrush first. It worked. <laughs> All right, now the end eater. Hooray for our little man. I'm a lemur again, and toothbrush is a big elephant again. Pine sized chihuahua, normal sized penguins. Everyone's back to the size they should be. See you later, Splish and Splash. And everybody's the eaters they should be. <laughs> That's right. And Toothbrush is an herbivore. That means he eats plants. Me too. I'm an herbivore too. <laughs> toothbrush can really pack away the plants. He can eat more than this whole pile of hay in just one day. And he's just a baby. Wow, he's a super duper power plant eater. <laughs> But shark is a different kind of eater. Chameleons are insectivores. That means he's a bug eater, because an insect is a bug and a vore is an eater. So an insectivore is a bug eater. <laughs> you got it, Zabu. And shark really likes mealworms. Mm -hmm. Whoa, a chameleon has one fast tongue. He spots his prey, takes aim, and wham! He has his dinner. His tongue can be longer than his whole body. Wow. Hey, Zob, you have a mealworm on you. Well, that's okay. Shark will help me out, won't you, Shark? Oh, thanks. You know what, Shark? <laughs> All these eaters remind me of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. Where are you? Leap. Leap. When I bumped anywhere. into Sensei. Oh, oh no. hi, Sensei. Oh, hi, Zabu. I've been looking for you everywhere. Huh? We're having a taste test taste to find test? everybody's favorite food in Zabu Land. Oh, I love to eat. Lead the way. <laughs> Wigging? She loves slurping big root noodles. And my personal favorite is mango fruit. Here, try oh, one, thanks, Zabu. Thanks, Sensei. Oh, Yummy. Gobbleberries, gobbleberries. I love gobbleberries. And I know your favorite food, Bugly. Coconut. Thanks, Sabu D. Duck. Boconuts rock. <laughs> hey, Sabu, you know, everybody has their favorite food, but I know one. 
Everybody likes it. Oh, I'll bring oh, it in. Ice fruit cake. Ice fruit cake. Oh, fruit cake. Oh, yeah. I love cake. Uh, come on, everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. And we yeah. ate Zabuland ice fruit cake for the rest of the day. The end. <laughs> A great story, Leaf Eater. Well, thanks, Spaghetti Eater. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the day, Zabu? Oh, well, I like being inside and going into the anthill. I liked when Sabu was riding on that bike and whizzing all around. I liked when Slurpee slurped up all the avocado. <laughs> Ants and eaters are great. I love all kinds of eaters. Yeah! This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. Guys, I gotta go do lemur things. See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping, lemur. Hey, Martin, wanna go check out some dirt eaters? Oh, yeah, I'm with you, brother. And remember, all eaters are good eaters. It's just survival in the creature world. See you next time. To the earthworm! Hi, I'm Lily Daniel. This is my pet Shara.